Welcome to the Purple Mash for Parents webinars. In this webinar, we're going to look at how your children can create a daily or weekly diary. It's so much fun using the tools and the templates in Purple Mash. Whether your children have read a book, painted a picture, baked a cake, designed a Lego tower, gone for a walk, or chatted with their friends online, why not take a snapshot of what they've been doing so they can write about this in their own diary? They can then share this with their classmates and teacher by sharing it to a class display board. There are many different tools and templates in Purple Mash that can be used to create a daily diary, but I'm going to show you two from the tools area that you can use with your children. First of all, I'm going to click on the tools area here and select this option here, To Publish Plus. To Publish Plus has a selection of blank templates that the children can use to create their own writing and upload their own images. I'm going to select this one here that says Blank Diary. This template is excellent for children in years three to six. Your children can upload their own images here using the upload button or use the clip art options. There are hundreds of pre-made clip art images. They can also write about what they've been doing in the text box section at the bottom here. There are some prompts for the writing and ideas to get the children started. You can add further pages by clicking this add page button at the top. I'm going to show you one that I've created earlier. There is Daisy's diary, my diary by Daisy. And if I scroll through the pages, you can see the images that we've taken and she's written about it at the bottom. So it's ready for me to add the diary entry for today's date. So first of all, I'm going to click on this green upload button to find a picture of something that we've done today. And she can write about what she's done today in the section at the bottom. She can use the text toolbar at the top here to select the size of the font she wants to write in and off she goes. She's now written her daily diary entry for Wednesday the 8th. We're going to save that, click on the drop down menu, select the save option and click the save button. As this is a file I've already saved and just added an extra page, I will need to overwrite that file and I'll click OK and it will add that additional page into my diary. Now if your child wants to share their diary with their classmates or the class teacher, they can use the drop down menu and click the share option and share it to a class display board that your class teacher has already created. I'm going to select that option, select the display board I want to send it to and click OK. That piece of work has now been shared onto the year two display board and once the class teacher has approved that work, all of her classmates in year two will be able to see that diary entry. So, so far we have used the blank diary template to create a diary using our own images. I'm going to go back now to the Tools tab. This time I'm going to select this tool here called To Create a Story. This is a brilliant tool that can be used for younger children in reception or year one and two. If your children are in nursery or reception, I would suggest using this version here called My Simple Story. I'm going to select this one here, My Story. This tool is an animation ebook making program where I can draw a picture at the top, write about my day, choose some animations and add some sounds. First of all, I'm going to choose a background here and I could either draw my background or take a photograph and put that in my background or I can use the clip art option up here to select one of our pre-made background images. I'm going to choose this one here which is a picture of a park and click OK and I can draw me going for a walk in the park. This is brilliant if you have an iPad or a tablet where the children can draw using their fingers, using the pens down the left hand side. So there's me going for a walk in the park and I can write about my day and the bottom here. Now your younger children might need a little bit of help with the writing. You could always act as the scribe and they could tell you about their day and you could type it in for them. I'm now going to animate the picture of me walking in the park by clicking on this button at the top here called animation. And I get to preview which of these animations I'd like to use. Let's have a look at the options. Let's select this one here. I can also add sounds to it by clicking on the sound option at the top here. I can use the drop down list to select other different sounds. So here is a sound of summer. Let's have a listen to that. Perfect, let's select that one for my story. Another option you can have using the sound feature is to record the children speaking about their day. Today I went for a walk in the park. It was a lovely sunny day. And I click done. If I press the play button at the top, today I went for a walk in the park. It was a lovely sunny day. 
you can see my story will animate and my sound will play as well. Let's save that into my folder, give it a file name and click save. Now again, if your child wants to share that with their friends, they can use the drop down menu, click the share option and share it to the class display board by selecting the display board they want to share it to. So let's have a look now at how that work will appear on that display board once a class teacher has approved it. I'm going to go to my sharing tab at the top here, click on that, go to the year two display board where I sent those pieces of work and there they both are. The one I created using the diary template and the one I created using to create a story. I hope you have enjoyed this Purple Mash for Parents video demonstrating just two of the tools in Purple Mash that your children can use to create a daily diary. Thank you for watching.